In this video, I'm going to show you how to save your logo and how this canvas auto saves your work and where that is stored. So let's say, for example, you made a change and you're, you close your browser. Notice at the bottom, every time you make a change, if you look over here, it will auto save it for you. So it will auto save those changes and those changes can be found right here. Let's say your browser closes and then you reopen it and go back to Logo Maker app. And if you go back to the app like this, it's going to say you want to create a new design or do you want to resume previous work? So that kind of saves you from, oops, I did all this work and it's gone. Well, you still have it. As long as you're using the same computer, it's going to save all that stuff on your computer automatically. You could also find this right here in the menu and go to auto save work. And you'll see that I was working on other designs, like for example, this design right here. And anytime you see this long string, that's basically the auto save work. Anytime you see something like this, a little, uh, little thing, that is something you personally saved. And I'm gonna show you the difference right now. So if I click on this right here, it will open up this. And if I press save right here, it's going to save the file as a URL. So right here, it's going to save it as a URL. And you're gonna see logomaker.com forward slash app and some letters and numbers right here. You could copy this and you could share this with another computer or you could share this with somebody else. And what it will happen is it will pull up on their screen exactly what you made. Then they can make a change. Let's say they wanna say, you know what? I want this red or something like that or I want it a little orange or yellow or whatever. And they can make that change and then they could press save again and then it will come up with a new URL right there. So you're, you could always keep your, all your URLs in your history. So if you go back in your browser history, you could see that that's the URL that got saved. And you're able to see that URL here on the top as well. It'll say logomaker.com forward slash app. And then you could see that URL. So this is a really good way of saving all your stuff on your computer. So you could always go back to it. And also you could share this with somebody else. Then of course, if you want to download it, you just press save and you could download the high resolution version here that will give you all the print and license files, or you could get the low resolution there but you have to read the terms of service and agree to them as well. Of course, my recommendation is to get the high resolution so you have all these licensed files and you have the really high quality files as well so it doesn't get blurry on different screens and or when you're printing them. Hope this video was helpful. I'll talk to you on the next one.